Hi, it's Andrew from Party Meeple. It's been a while since I've posted anything, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to say hello. You might expect me to talk about something like... like this. Or maybe even this. Or possibly this. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. What I'm going to talk about is this. The thing that you play them on. We did some renovation work on um, Sky Meeple Rest and in the process of that there was some leftover timber that had to be taken out of a leaky roof um, and so I used that, recycled it, to make us a gaming table. I'd like to talk about how I've done that and how it's turned out. So here's the wood that we used to make the table. Actually, this is the leftover wood. The table wood has actually already been taken off. But you can see the sort of wood that came out of the roof as we repaired it. Most people throw this away, but I don't know why you wouldn't recycle it, because it's so lovely. The table has splayed legs, so there's no legs on the corner. They come from the centre of the table out. And because the join there is like quite high stress, I put 10 millimetre rebar down the inside with some epoxy to like make it nice and strong. Um, there's a cleats on the bottom with some screws to hold the legs on. The table wobbled a bit, so then we put some gussets in there, which took some clever clamping, um, and now it's as solid as anything. The table actually comes apart and stores flat if you need it to. Because there's no corner legs, people sitting on the end of the table can get up and leave without their legs being trapped by the corner leg, because the splay leg obviously fixes that problem. You can still hit your knee on it if you try, and actually I would put the legs slightly further out if I made another table, um, probably only about 10 centimetres, but um, pretty much that fixes the corner leg problem. First thing we made was some rails to go around the side, 10 millimetre strips of carry glued together with epoxy and black pigment, um, so there'd be a nice stripe. I bent both of them over strong backs and let them set for a day before um, pulling them off and then applying them to um, the MDF that is the table base, basically. You can see the filler pigment stuff down the bottom there where I filled up some gaps in the joining of my crappy work. And there we can see it coming together and we're already making a bit of dust. On top of the table is a dining surface that can be removed and I put a parquet covering on this, basically cutting up some scraps that I had left over. I didn't quite get this right so there's a lot of filling and a lot of sanding and I'm not doing that again. I am going to be cleaning up my workshop after this for quite some time, dust everywhere. Um, but then we end up with this to go on top of the gaming surface when we want to use it as a dining table. It clips on brackets on the wall there. Um, and we've had 10 people uh, sitting around it. Here's the finish, which was sanded down to 400 grit sandpaper and then used like a beeswax tongue oil that I got as a, a surface finish. It's very smooth, hard to damage, um, looks quite lovely. Initially, I, we put a green canvas that I had laying around in there to, to play on one night when we were keen to try it out. And then last weekend, we went out looking for some felt, but we found this upholstery fabric that distracted us, which we thought was an unusual color that we liked. And it's wonderful to game on. It's like a, a bit of a corduroy feel to it. And because it's upholstery fabric, it doesn't stain and it's tough. So um, yeah. We're actually doing two different surfaces. As I say, this pops out. We have a blue one to go in there as well. Hi, you'll see I've changed my shirt. Given the state of play in the world at the moment with the Black Lives Matter thing, I think it's important that people who are providing internet content actually make a statement about how they feel about it. Um, you may not agree with it and Everyone has a right to an opinion, but I think your opinion is wrong and I think it's damaging and I'd really urge you to reconsider. Uh, while this started in the US this time round, we have problems of our own in Australia that have been with us for many years. Um, and I would ask all Australians and anyone who's interested to watch John Pilger's documentary Utopia, which I'll put a link for down below. Um, I went to the West Australian premiere of the movie and bought this shirt some years ago. Um, if it doesn't make you have a think about what's happening in some parts of our community, I'd be very surprised. Thank you for taking the time to listen.